When Aaron Jones returned home from World War II, he found Western Oregon's timber industry in turmoil. Dozens of sawmills were shutting down. Skilled workers were losing their jobs. For them, the situation was truly bleak. And yet somehow, with almost no money in his pockets, Aaron found a way to buy an old sawmill and reopened it. He put people back to work, and for him, failure wasn't an option. Too many families were counting on him. Well, you could almost say it like this. When I was in the war and I had, I had a bunch of soldiers on me, I felt it was, I was obligated to keep them alive. And I kind of think it, uh, it was the same feeling there. Aaron realized that to survive, he would need to discover why other mills were failing. And he found an answer on the floors and machines of virtually every sawmill. Sawdust. Trainloads of sawdust. Trainloads of wasted wood. And so began a half century of innovations that would turn Seneca Sawmill into arguably the most efficient, technologically advanced mill on earth. You go to a, a, a convention and uh, all the other mills or wholesalers are there. They're always pointing at Seneca. That's what we're going to be one day. That's, that's who we're going to, we're going to beat those guys one day. We're, we're kind of like uh, the Boston Celtics or the uh, SC Trojans of, of the lumber industry. We're, we're it. And that's no exaggeration. Aaron Jones is driven to succeed. But much of his drive was born out of a loyalty to the people who work for him. I believe a lot of that comes from what he went through in his childhood and how difficult it was for him to make a living for himself and also how important family is to him as a person who grew up an orphan. And so he always wanted to create an atmosphere that a person could come and have a good job at a good wage and work in a good environment and that is important to him. In fact, everything that happens at Seneca is done with employees in mind. That's why even entry-level workers can expect to earn a family wage. Uh, well, it's good pay and it's good benefits. I mean, first and foremost, realistically. Well, my wife works for a CPA firm, a large CPA firm, and our benefits are much better. And it baffles me, but uh, it's true. And Seneca offers something more. Respect for the employee and the opportunity to advance. It's owned by a family, and they they show up every day. They're uh, they're in this for the long run, and they're looking for good people that are that are smart and willing to work hard and move them up in the company. Rick Ray himself started at the bottom, pulling the green chain. It was a tough job then, and it still is. Yeah, I take pride in being good at it. You just try to keep it going, help out your partner, you help out the next guy, and it makes the job up. A lot easier. And since most managers started with an entry-level job, they understand and appreciate the work you do. Lee Gonzalez started on a cleanup crew 16 years ago. He needed a good job. Yeah, I have uh, three kids. I raised them, and I, I was able to buy a, a place. I own a, a house that I bought about seven years ago, so they have paid my bills. <laughs> But Lee also benefited from a series of promotions, and today is training for a highly paid job as a mill electrician. To me, it's a, it's a big accomplishment in my life. It's a, I wasn't able to have a, go to school and have an education, but this doing this to me is like a career. Every effort is made to find positions that suit you, men and women. Connie Larson came here as a single mother 19 years ago. My life went through some hardship. I divorced my husband and was homeless, and I came here and started working here. And this has been a great, great place to work ever since. I mean, my bills are all paid. I'm a much happier person. <laughs> you know? Most new employees work the swing shift from late afternoon until early morning, and many choose to stay on that shift. A yeah, big share of folks on swing shift, uh, including the supervisors, they do a lot of golfing and fishing during the day before they come to work. They really like the swing shift. It works well for them. Swing shift also offers flexibility. Dan Fields attends college during the day. Uh, I go to school at U of O. Uh, I'm studying to become a math teacher. Uh, that's good because most of the math classes are actually offered in the afternoon or early in the morning, so 
when I get off early in the morning, I can go to class in the morning, or I can sleep and then go to class in the afternoon. And young families find that having one parent working swing shift can save them a lot of money on child care. The swing shift parent is home with the kids during the day, while the other parent is at work. Little need to pay a daycare center. And Seneca offers something else, something very important to young families, job security. You do your job and, and get here on time and, and, and uh, just do what's asked of you. You're going to be here for as long as you want to be here. That's largely because of Seneca's continued commitment to innovation. It's, it's wonderful. I mean, it's, for an engineer, it's, this is like working for Disneyland. <laughs> uh, we get to do things that um, most people never ever dream of. So. Seneca engineers are constantly improving efficiency. For example, they've designed a new mill that produces profitable lumber from logs as small as three inches in diameter. So the super-efficient Seneca sawmill can deliver the world's highest quality lumber for a profit in almost any economy. Uh, I've worked here 23 years, and it, it's only went down one time for a week in that time frame. And uh, basically, that was due to weather. What's more, Seneca owns over 160,000 acres of timberland. Dedicated stewardship of their timber property, cutting-edge technology in the mills, and the best employees allow Seneca to be poised for the future. Aaron Jones and his employees got where they are as a team. We have a pretty good Christmas party here. We, we have the whole crew here if we possibly can. Hell of a lot of fun to see 40 or 50 kids that uh, none of them are over four or five years old. And they're out there just having a blast. That's rewarding as far as that goes. I've always loved kids. The company newsletter celebrates big events in employees' lives. Everything from birthdays to trophy bucks, and of course, new Seneca seedlings. I feel good when, I, when my alarm clock goes off in the morning, I'm up and eager. It's not like, um, dang, the alarm went off, you know, I gotta go to work. I enjoy coming to work here at Seneca. Aaron Jones and his Seneca Sawmill Company are always looking for dedicated, hardworking, safety-conscious new employees. Maybe, they're looking for you. Are you working hard but don't feel you're getting ahead where you are? Maybe Seneca can help. Uh, it's a good company to work for. Uh, everybody's like family here. Would a bigger paycheck help you realize the dream of owning your own home? Or would excellent medical benefits and a matching 401k retirement plan help you sleep a little easier? I did work in a medical career once. You know, I might have gone back into that, but... When I first started coming here, I liked this job so much that I didn't want to leave. They, they couldn't get rid of me. <laughs> or maybe you're fresh out of high school or college and would like to earn a good living right now, not 10 years from now. Maybe the answer for you is Seneca Sawmill Company. Seneca. There's a company in general I like. It's a great company. You can call us for more information at 541-689-1011 or pick up an application 24 hours a day, any day of the week at the southeast corner of Highway 99 and Airport Road in Eugene. Seneca, the sawmill company that changed everything. Maybe it can change everything for you. I'm Aaron Jones. I own Seneca Sawmill Company. If you're looking for a job in the wood products business, come out and see me. <laughs>